Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to compare the performance of the APIs either using NestJS Express and NestJS Fastify because there is always a debate. There is a NestJS and there is a Express with a Fastify. I mean NestJS can be used either with Express and Fastify. So which one is better? Because there is also a debate okay I'm using NestJS, I'm using just a Vanilla Express and, uh, and Fastify which one is better? So I'm using NestJS, yes, I'm a fan of it. So what I will do is NestJS yes, provide an adapter. You can use Express with the NestJS yes, and Fastify. So using this, we can actually benchmark the test results, which one is better when we are hitting a lots of the virtual users to test our APIs. So let's see compare. We, we are going to hit a one simple test API and we are going to switch the adapters from Express adapter to the Fastify adapter. Express is something which is being used by default in the nest case and for the fastify adapter you just need to change your uh, main.ts file so you can switch between both of these something like this fastify adapter express adapter fastify adapter express adapter right and we can run the test so what i will do is i will just start this nest case app and we will hit this search apis endpoint with the express app express nest case or express fastify the first test I'm doing uh, with the Express app. So I will just start the application. There is a console log statement uh, which I will remove because that is creating problem. I will restart the application and now we will run the first test. So I created a copy of uh, this fast Express Fastify YML. I will be running this same spec two times. So this is the same restaurant API and I can just run my test. So here I need to change the YML file name. This is Express Fastify. So it is just using this cloud, Artillery Cloud to publish the report. I mean, you can also run this offline and just generate a JSON report and convert the JSON report into HTML report. So our test is executed. Now let's see it on the web. So this is our load test. I mean, first I did run for the Express and I got the score 94 still very satisfying and here I got the maximum it took 229 milliseconds okay now we will switch to the fastify and we will run the same test again and we will meet back so now our code is using fastify adapter here and I will run the same test again just hit the same command again artillery run because we want to compare both the spec results so I'm just putting the same uh, file name so Artillery Cloud provide me uh, a comparison view with the Express and the Fastify. Second uh, test we are doing for the Fastify. First test we have already done for Express. So our test has, has been finished. Now it's time to compare the test results. So this was Express results. And now I will compare it with the, the next one which we just executed. Okay, the score is giving you the, the overall picture of Express versus Fastify. I mean, I didn't change much code, just using Fastify adapter here. And here you can see the appendix index is 99%. Excellent, right? Everything is green. And here, this will give us more clear picture. You can see per second, there was 1300. With the Fastify, I was able to do 1500 uh, requests per second. Okay, it's the same set of uh, virtual users were created 1515 and here it will give some more idea. This is really the nice comparison. Okay, I will remove my picture from here and let's compare. So here the maximum it took is 229 millisecond and here it took 163 millisecond. I mean I did run this multiple times to benchmark actually where the express is and where the fastify is. So as always, people say Fastify is step ahead. So I also agree that step Fastify is taking less time. It it will all obviously will be will be in milliseconds. So it is taking 163 millisecond and the overall score of let's say appendix here. Here you can see there are some frustrated request. Sorry, uh, sorry, tolerated. And here you see you can see the tolerated index is very few. That means all the requests were able to process successfully without any uh, stress on the server. And here you can see zero request and here you can see 20,000 requests. I mean these are li like different index parameters. 
uh, we can go into the depth to understand but this gives me overall picture uh, these are you can see tolerated request are only 900 the satisfied request which gives total green which is 150000 and here you can see the response time is also even in the peak hours it is 97 and it is 141 so that gives us lot more clarity when we are comparing both the performance results okay that's it guys this is uh, the nest cs with the express and the fastify adapters and this is their performance comparison i hope you like it and this is if you like it then you might switch to fastify for building a production grade applications i mean there's just only slight variation but that's your choice